Now, uh, going on to my next topic, Kaylin Clark and Angel Reese. Yesterday afternoon, I witnessed one of the greatest games I've ever seen in my entire life. It was fantastic to me. Caitlin Clark in the Indiana Fever went against Angel Reese in the Chicago Sky, and it was a great game. It ended in an 88-87 to Sky win. Kind of to my dismay, because I'm a big Angel Reese fan, but I am a huge Caitlin Clark fan. I love Caitlin Clark. I have no shame in admitting that. But I also love Angel Reese. I thought she was dominant. In my opinion, Angel Reese started everybody coming to women's basketball. You remember when LSU won that championship? Yeah, everyone likes to give Caitlin Clark the credit for that. But Angel Reese did start it. The Bayou Barbie started that. She did. Angel Reese also has good looks, too. I think she looks absolutely beautiful and magnificent. But that's besides the point. Um, <clears throat> Better yet, both Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese look fantastic. They look dominant. Caitlin Clark put up 17 points, 13 assists, and 6 rebounds last night, breaking the Indiana Fever's franchise record for assists in the game. Angel Reese... Put up 25 and 16 last night. That is the first rookie to put up those numbers since Asia Wilson. Asia Wilson is a two-time MVP, probably three-time after this season, and a two-time champion. Things are looking really, really bright for Angel Reese. I'm really happy for her for that. Her and Camila Cardoso are going to be dominant on the inside. And for Camila Cardoso, I mean, it just looks so easy, right? When you're Camila Cardoso is six seven in a league full of people who are like five nine. Like, it's so easy for her. I can't tell you how many times I saw Camila Cardoso get the ball and just lay it right up. It just looked that easy for her. It's really crazy. And um, Aaliyah Boston, special shout-out to her, too. She is magnificent. In my opinion, she right now is still the best player on that Fever team. A lot of people would forget about her, but she reminds me a lot. And I mean a lot. And she's not exactly Tim Duncan, but she's Tim Duncan-ish. Get the job done. She'd rather share to her teammates. Uh, what she's going to do is, you know, do her moves, get her 20 and 10. I really, really enjoy Aaliyah Boston's game. A lot of people may think it's boring. I think it's productive. Aaliyah Boston's a fantastic player. She deserves her shout-out as well. Uh, her and Caitlin Clark are going to be one of the league's most dynamic duos over the next decade. They are amazing. Uh, Boston is already one of the better players in the WNBA. Caitlin Clark is blossoming into a top guard. This fever in Sky rivalry is fantastic. For the WNBA. It's bringing the WNBA the publicity it has needed for so long. Thanks to the new players coming in. Uh, thanks to the popularity. Thanks to the new play styles. Uh, thanks to the good looks of the players. Hi, Angel Reese. Um, it's, just, it's just really great to see the WNBA finally benefiting off of their star power. Off of some of these rivalries. I said in one of my previous videos, you need to treat Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese just like the NBA in the 80s treated Larry Bird and Magic Johnson. They don't have to be rivals. They don't have to hate each other. They don't even hate each other. I think they admire each other's game, but they are competitors, and you can respect both of them for that. I think both of them are fantastic. The hate towards Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark are equally wrong, in my opinion. I don't think you should hate either one of them. Caitlin Clark is a fantastic player. She's already one of the better guards in the league. Angel Reese absolutely dominated. She has eight double-doubles in a row at this point. One of the better players in the league as well. Both of these girls are going to be the future of the WNBA.